Hey guys, just real quick here on these MERS radios, RB38V, and this probably goes for a lot of other radios out there as well. So I bought a three pack from Amazon on these MERS radios from Retivis, and these RB38Vs, I've been getting a lot of feedback randomly on, diff on each of the radios at different times. So that was very annoying for the family so that we could use them conveniently and without a lot of headaches around the house. So one way to fix all those issues is that you go into your programming software and these are my current settings at the moment. I then changed all of the QT, DQT, the quiet tones and made them all of the same since it's a three pack and the radios are all gonna be used together anyway, then I don't really care what other people are saying. And then these quiet tones, you're only going to be able to listen to a radio that is also transmitting that tone. So that means all of that interference and all that other noise and things that I was getting before, if those interference and noises and all of that don't have these quiet tones, then I won't be able to hear that on the radio, which means that the radio is a lot quieter and then just only going to be able to hear each other talk on the three radios that we have since they're all saved with the same programming software. So go ahead and do that. You can choose whatever quiet tones that you wish, whatever your favorite number is or whatever, but just make sure the receive quiet tone and the transmit quiet tone are the same because when you're transmitting here, you're transmitting to another radio at that same frequency and that radio is going to be looking for this quiet tone. So if this quiet tone was completely different, then your transmitting quiet tone is not going to be heard over it. So you can't make these different. They have to be the same on both the receive and the transmit quiet tones. So once I did that, I realized, well, now I can reduce the squelch level a lot more because when I had it, I had it higher to try and maybe eliminate a little bit of that, but I was still getting a lot of the interference. So now I can turn that squelch level down a little bit more and be able to hear a little bit farther conversations with people in the family or your friends. Also, what I did was I turned on this comp and door setting. And it's actually for compounding. So here, if you look at Wikipedia, pretty much it basically makes your sound or your audio sound better on the other radio as well. But all radios, both radios talking to each other have to have that turned on or else it's really not going to work that well. So basically the way it works is that the dynamic range of the signal is compressed before transmission and then it is expanded to the original value at the receiver. The electronic circuit that does this is called a compounder and works by compressing or expanding the dynamic range of an analog electronic signal, such as sound recorded by a microphone, which is from your radio. So here you can kind of get a good look at what the graph representation is. So the original signal kind of starts jumpy all over the place and then it com gets compressed here with these wavelengths getting closer together. And then the receiving radio can convert that or read that and uh, translate that back into the original audio. So having that turned on here and the compander will also help as well to be able to listen to each other a little bit easier and a little bit more pleasantly. So here you guys go just to show you guys that the tones are working now. Every time you see the green lights show up here at the top like right there that means that the radios are receiving a signal right? However I cannot hear it. I can't hear that interference anymore. Yep just saw it again over here because the tones are programmed into the radio. So those interferences and statics and everything like that don't have the proper tone for the radio to be activated and the radio to listen to. So it cuts all of that out and now you have a much more pleasant experience with these radios or any radio in general that has that problem with all of the interference. Other than that, I hope you guys like this video, this short video. If you guys have any questions or comments about these MERS radios, let me know in the comments section and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much.